the modern way of injection molding, reeling it off continuously. Based on the revolutionary exjection endless technology, the continuous molding on an angel machine is illustrated here. In order to ensure a continuous melt flow for continuous production, two injection units are required in this case, which alternately dose, colored in red here, and inject colored in green here. As soon as the screw chamber of one unit is depleted, an additional material is required to fill the cavities. The system switches to the second unit, where the same pressure is already established, illustrated by the color change. Now, as depicted, the lower unit injects and the upper unit doses. The switchover process is executed by two needle valves integrated into the rotary mold. The melt flows via the hot runner to the gate in the rotary mold, where the melt is injected into the cold runner when the valve gate nozzle is open and thus reaches the individual cavities. The rotating unit of the rotary mold turns constantly and is continuously supplied with melt. The cavities are opened and closed and the parts are injected and demolded simultaneously as the rotating unit rotates. The required drive unit of the rotary mold is situated at the rear, where a motor propels the rotating unit through a gearbox. Precisely controlling the rotation at a defined speed is essential for maintaining good component quality. The essential thing about continuous molding technology is that, compared to standard injection molding, it offers higher productivity with the same investment and achieves consistently good part properties. While the parts are injected at the top, they are continuously ejected from the mold at the bottom and are available for downstream processes or for packaging. Here you can see from the process simulation the filling of the individual cavities with the color reflecting the injection pressure. This means the individual cavities in the rotary mold are gradually filled. The individual parts are shaped with effective holding pressure and then cooled in the mold. After cooling, the parts can be demolded and ejected. The injection pressure in the cavity transitions from blue, zero bars, to green, around 250 bars equal to 3,600 PSI during filling and then decreases. Since the individual cavities are consistently filled and shaped in the same manner, the part properties in each cavity remain consistent, ensuring consistently high part quality in serial production. The parts can be removed from the machine in a short synchronized and in orderly manner for further processing, resulting in additional efficiency. If you would like to find out more, please visit our website or follow us here. It is up to you. Make the benefits of continuous molding your own too, powered by Exjection.